How's it going everyone? Cicero here. Sorry I've not made a video recently, but today we're actually going to be doing a unboxing video. I don't think I've done a big unboxing video before. And um, I just recently found out about Starlink Battle for Atlas. Because, you know, I collect a lot of the Toys of Life games, such as Skylanders. I don't know if you can actually see them in the background. I don't think you can. I think they're too far away. But I collect Skylanders, Disney Infinity, and um, Dis uh, Lego Dimensions. That's what the other one's called. And I found out this one existed. Never heard of it before. Never saw any gameplay of it. So I had to check it out. Looked pretty interesting. So got me a starter pack for around $20. No idea if that's a good price or not. I just went with the cheapest price on Amazon. I also picked this up at the flea market. It's another thing to it. Got it for about $2. But um, besides that, yeah, we're going to be doing an unboxing. Don't really know how to do this for uh, when I'm done. But I got plenty of knives in case I need to do this. Definitely got plenty of knives. I got this clowny boy here. Here. No, this is probably going to get age restricted because I'm going to be showing knives, but I don't care. Knives are really pog. <laughs> so here's the clown one. You know, it has a serrated edge in case I, whatever reason, need to use the serrated edge. I got my purpley boy here. Purpley boy is pretty cool. Cool. And I have uh, the and I have the police here. Can you focus? Yeah, I have the police here. You know, in case I have to do some stabbing with the police. So, there's that. Let's get into the unboxing, shall we? Um, I'm gonna start with this one first. I hope that transitions well. I'll have to look at it in editing. Uh, the light is kind of annoying because it is flashing in my eyes. You can actually see the light in my glasses, but uh, that is perfectly fine. So let's open this up. Hopefully this is not difficult because some of these uh, things like to be packaged in really annoying ways. But here he goes. Oh, here's some AMSR for that one person who likes it. Just right on the camera. Make this really awkward. This one actually opened up all right. Uh, yeah, he is uh, pretty much as I expected. He is a... This actually got out of the package like really easily. Now, can that focus? Focus. I don't think it's going to focus. Hold on. Well, he is a small character. Yeah, he's a blondie boy. Hey, no, you can kind of see him. He is he is a very very small figure. You can see it right here. Here, I'll put him on my head for you for comparison. Yeah, it's a very small figure. I'm gonna have to be careful with these because uh, I can see myself uh, losing these characters very damn easily. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, I was going to unbox this just in my spare time, but decided, hey, why not? Let's make a video of it. Now, is this going to be easy plastic to remove? Oh, actually, it looks like it was opened by customs. I think they were checking it for a bomb or something. Who bloody knows? <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is some real AMSR content. Alright, box is out. I'm gonna try and keep the box even though it looks like they scuffed the box already. That is lovely. I only keep the boxes. I mean, I'm, I keep the boxes, but I, like, I don't get rid of stuff. I have a bunch of the gaming of boxes from ga you know, gaming boxes, some of the stuff that I have gotten over the years, and I say I'm going to unbox. I'm gonna get rid of them, but then I decided, well, someone may just buy the box, so I decided to keep them. But, um, yeah, this box is, uh, pretty scuffed. The scuffed on the edges and stuff. 
That's unfortunate. Like, if I saw this in, like, a game shop, I probably would ask them for, for a, a lower price. Quick tip. If you uh, happen to go to a game shop and you see a game that's kind of scuffed looking, or anything that's kind of scuffed looking, negotiate a price down because um, most of the time they just want to sail. So if they if you want a deal because the thing is scuffed and you want to add it to your collection, ten out of ten, then most people will do it for the sale to get rid of it because it's kind of scuffed. Not all of the time, but there are a lot of people who will take deals on it, and those type of people make uh, collecting stuff for gaming very easily, very very easily. I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, if you always negotiate a price because you can always find deals, and that's the best thing about gaming. I also have a sticker. I'm just gonna put that there. There, because why the heck not? You gotta be a little silly sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, when you're out hunting for gaming stuff, always look for a deal. I may have to use my knife on this last sticker if I can't get it with my non-existing nails. But, um, let's just do this, shall we? Got another sticker. Bam. All right. You know, these actually, this button, how they have these boxes set up is actually not bad. At least it's not freaking stapled in. <laughs> like some of the star, like some of the Disney Infinity boxes. But, uh, uh, oof, bad stutter. Apologies. What I find interesting about Starlink is that Ubisoft made it, and I never heard of it because uh, you know, Skylanders, freaking Bethesda, uh, not Bethesda. Oh, God, freaking what? Oh, hold on. I entirely forgot what I was going to say. Rival companies. I'm a, I'll just put it in text later. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Lovely. Let's just open up this box. So, well, the box is actually damaged on the inside. That's not a lovely experience. All right. This is the uh, this is the empty box. I'm gonna go with all of the other empty boxes. Oh, cool. We actually, it looks like we have a poster. Let's actually look at that, shall we? I think it's a poster. You know, it, does, it doesn't look, uh, the seal is annoying, but you know, what is it? <laughs> All right, let's open up this poster. Bethesda and Ubisoft, I think that's the how am I gonna do this? Okay. That got a cool looking poster there. I'm actually gonna put this up on my wall. Hope that looks nice. I'll have to look in the recording. Lovely jubbly. Well, here is the game. And I'm about to devalue the game by opening it up. Because I'm gonna go all the way with my unboxing. Because why the heck not? But yeah, I you know, I'm probably going to be doing some videos on Starlink cuz you know, never heard of it until recently and decided to buy it cuz it technically is classified as a toys of life. Also interestingly, so Webkins is technically one of the first toys of life games, but it's not listed as such. Do you remember Webkins? I wouldn't I don't think you would, but um one, but I will explain. Webkins was, you collected these little stuffed animals. They were around from when I was a kid. And you collect these stuffed animals, you get the code, and you put the stuffed animals into this online game. And it was actually really fun. And I actually recently found out that Webkins servers are still, uh, still active. So I wonder if I can actually get into my old account, do some videos on it. I think that would be fun and nostalgic. But, yep. Yeah. Here's the game. Let's 
open it up for y'all. Pristine game right here. You can see myself in the recording. Recording Inception. Lovely. But yeah, as expected, it looks like a pristine game. I look like... Uh, Okay, let's take the uh, take these off because it's starting to make my forehead sweat. Lovely jubbly. But the real shebang of this opening are the figures. Hopefully they do not fall out. Alright, got another small figure. If I can get them out of here. Because that would also be very nice. That's going to be loud in the recording. Oh, lovely. I've already lost the other tiny figure, so that's also nice. <laughs> I'll find him later, hopefully. So, let's transition him here. He is a very tiny figure. But, let's move him here. Hopefully, he transitions a little more in the camera. I don't have a good camera, because I am using my phone to record, but that looks about right. Alright, well, you'll see him in the game when I play it. I pl I play it. Here you go. L uh, not, now he is on my head. Lovely jubbly. He kind of looks like Nathan Drake. Now, uh, just to get this freaking, um... I assume this... Uh, I assume this is... Uh, uh, it's like the portal... Uh, this is either the portal or the spaceship that came with it. Now... I love Star Wars, and this is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to get this, because, you know, spaceship and space. I just remembered the Markiplier song. <laughs> space is so cool. Uh, I just want to start singing that now. <laughs> but yeah, you can actually kind of see this. It's actually hard for me to um, transition the bigger characters. Smaller characters, I mean. So here you go. Here's a cool looking spaceship. It has a bunch of parts on the spaceship, which I could add on, but I do not want this to be, to be a long video. Alright, so I'm guessing this is what the game's portal looks like. Because it, it has a little connector piece that connects to my PS4. Now it looks like I guess it's like a sh it's like a uh, a ship dock for the spaceships. I would imagine so. No, I'm not even going to get these out at the moment. But here are the other accessories and stuff. That's also pretty cool. But yeah, guys, that has been the Starlink unboxing. Let me show you the two characters characters again because why the heck not? We got Blondie and Mr. Robotic Arms here. And we have this freaking cool looking spaceship. Now, I do plan on actually doing some gameplay on it. Just like I do plan on uh, continuing some of the other series. Because, you know, kind of been lacking on videos. But I do hope you're st you still enjoy my videos. And I do hope to see you all again next time. I'm going to end it here. I am going to try and do some more gameplay videos, but I do have some card openings things to do as well, so that's always nice. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on where you live. This has been Cicero, and I hope to see you all again next time. Lovely jubbly and peace. Ladies, y'all.